Yo, what's up, guys? In today's video, I got a bunch of Chicago Bulls news and updates. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about some potential trade targets for the Chicago Bulls. Also, giving a positive update on Lonzo Ball finally, and also talking about the Bulls' chances at re signing Io Dusumu in this upcoming offseason. But before I jump into today's video, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Also, leave a quick like below today's video. It takes a second and it helps me out a lot. And leave some comments and questions below today's video about all the topics and updates i'm about to jump into also just a quick little heads up sorry for no videos for the past week or so i was feeling really under the weather and i pretty much had to miss work all last week but nonetheless i'm finally feeling better and i'm ready to pump out some bulls videos but either way let's just jump right into it and keep it short and simple you can feel however you can feel about this bulls team you may want to blow it up you may want to add some pieces at the trade deadline or trade a few players here and there who truly knows what is going to happen but i think it's obvious that this bulls front office still believes in this core and they still want to see them play when healthy now i don't know if i believe that's the best option for this roster as of right now but let's be real if this bulls front office wants to keep this core around they need to do something they need to add a piece at the trade deadline and this article did come out not that long ago from bleach report and they did list a few potential trade targets for the bulls a target with the trade deadline about a month or two away and before i jump into this article and break down these players and get my opinions on them let me know below today's video who you guys want the bulls at target at the nba trade deadline because i believe this bulls team needs to do something i don't know what it is but i believe something needs to happen and the first player that this article did list or link to the Chicago Bulls is Jay Crowder. And let me just say, I've made past videos talking about Jay Crowder. I believe he'd be a great addition to this roster, but at the end of the day, I'd rather see Patrick Williams start at the four than Jay Crowder, and I just don't know how much better he would be than Patrick Williams. Patrick Williams has definitely been playing really solid basketball as of late, especially on the defensive side of the basketball. He's been getting better game by game, and you can just tell. I just wish that the Bulls would incorporate him more into the offense which i blame patrick and billy donovan on that but i just really don't believe adding jay crowder would be that much of a pickup or it would add that much more to this roster i mean he is 32 years old he's always been a very good three and d type player but if the bulls need to make a move like i believe and hope they do it needs to be bigger than jay crowder in my eyes and the next player in this article is pj washington and kind of what i just said with jay crowder i really like pj washington he would definitely help out this team i just don't know what his value would be what the bulls would have to give up and how much he would really make this team better i feel like if the bulls do anything it's going to need to be a big move i like pj washington he's always been a good four or five you know he can even play the three at times he's still only 24 years old he is approaching restricted free agency though i don't really know i like him i feel like he could be really good but i don't know how much he could really help out this bulls team and the final player that this article did link to the Bulls was Miles Turner. Obviously, I know Bulls fans are really high in him, and he's been linked to the Bulls for honestly years now. I believe Miles Turner would be a huge pickup. Now, this is a player that I think would help out this team a lot. I like Vooch. I feel like he's played solid for this season. I don't believe he deserves all the criticism and hate that he does get, but I feel like Miles Turner would definitely fit much better with this roster. He's a good three point shooter. He can space the floor. Obviously, one of the best, if not the best, rim protectors in the NBA. The only problem with trading for Miles Turner is he is a free agent in this upcoming summer. So the Bulls are going to have to be really happy with his future with the Bulls. And I saw he's expected to ask about $20 million per season. I like Miles Turner, but I don't know if he's worth that. Definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video about all those potential trade targets for the Bulls. And the next topic in today's video is an injury update on Lonzo Ball. And this injury update that came out is finally positive news. You know, it's not great news, I'd say, but it's definitely trending in the right direction for once. And just the other day, this article came out from Bulls Talk and NBCSports.com. And according to Billy Donovan, Lonzo Ball has recently been shooting, jumping, and jogging lightly. Those are the latest steps in a really slow rehab process. And after that, Billy Donovan did continue, and he 
he did say Lonzo has been on the court shooting, which has been good. He's actually jumping a little bit while shooting. He's been doing some light jogging, I think working through some of that stuff. And Billy did say, since we last talked, it is progressing. It's just really slow, but there has definitely been some improvements and he's actually doing more physically than the last time we spoke. The last time Billy Donovan did provide a little update on Lonzo Ball was November 30th, when like Friday, he noted that the process has been really slow and added Lonzo was not even close to being cleared for contact. You know, this is a positive update, but at the end of the day, this really doesn't mean that much. I mean, it's January 1st or 2nd as I'm recording this video and the NBA season's flying by and honestly you know this is a good update on Lonzo I'm happy he's finally slowly jogging and he's shooting and jumping a little bit but I just don't believe he's going to play this NBA season which is sad to say because I feel like he could really help out this team but once again he hasn't played basketball in a year now it's going to take some time hopefully he can just get right for the I'd hope at least early next year in training camp next year definitely leave some comments and questions below today's video about the first First finally positive update that's came out and honestly about a year or so and the final topic in today's video is about Ayo Dusumu and this article did come out from NBCSports.com and the title of the article was three bulls things we'd like to see in 2023 and one of the topics they listed that they would like to see is Ayo Dusumu being re-signed in this upcoming offseason and I agree obviously he's a local product he's from Chicago he's a restricted free agent in this upcoming offseason and the bulls have made it clear how much they do value Ayo Dusumu. But management in the past has also said similar things about marketing and then failed to find common ground on a contract extension. And Ayo looks posed for a double digit year career. He's tough, versatile, and he continues to contribute whether he starts or comes off the bench. While he can still improve his shooting and ability to run a team and an offense, he's reliable and relentless and in-game failure doesn't determine him. He's scared of nothing. I love Ayo. You know, as a player who fell to a second round, Io only did sign a two-year, $2.5 million deal, which obviously in my eyes, he deserves a raise. Would a three-year, $30 million deal get the job done? Time will tell, but the Bulls should make every effort to make this negotiable a smooth one. I do agree. I love Io. He's from Chicago. He's played amazing basketball, whether that's starting or coming off the bench. Now, obviously, this is his second year in the NBA. It's kind of been a roller coaster ride. He's been starting. He got benched for a little bit. His play has been up and down. I mean, he's still super young. He's only 22 years old. He's a 6'4 point guard. His play as of late has definitely been better than it has at times this season. I mean, on the season in 27 minutes per night, he has been starting most nights. He has been averaging 10 points per game, shooting 51% from the field and about 34% from three-point range. Also averaging three rebounds, three assists, and one steal and almost a block a game as well. I think the Bulls would be silly to let him walk for nothing. Thank you guys for all the love on the channel in the past few videos. I really do appreciate it. Have a good one.